one thing that I forgot to mention uh, that I thought was worth noting was that if you open up the the source code for the Python program for the desktop program um, what I wanted to point out is when I did all the kinematics in this program and you get here down towards the bottom when you get to uh, right here to calc forward kinematics I did not do anything fancy and use any arrays or anything um, I went ahead you know mostly because I'm lazy um, and copied in every cell into the program so the nice thing about that is though is if you want to see you know what a particular cell is doing like C21 in the program you can come back here and find C21 and find that exact same calculation on the spreadsheet so um, pretty much all of the programming in the Python program all references every cell in the kinematic model so you can cross reference and find what's going on so it makes it kind of easy to troubleshoot and navigate when you can visually see in the Excel spreadsheet you know what's going on um, and then and same thing in the reverse kinematics we uh, we do all the same reverse calculations uh, here by you know of course by each each and every cell uh, so you can go through this and you can see all of the uh, here's the end of it and it returns the output it returns J1, J2, J3, J4, J5 and J6 so if we come up and find the buttons for jogging let's say jog Z negative um, it's going to basically set CX to zero, CY to zero and then CZ it's going to find the value um, from that uh, field on the screen since we're in negative it'll multiply it by negative one and then it's going to call this program called move XYZ and then to move XYZ it's going to pass in all those variables that we just set so it's going to run move XYZ it's going to pass in those variables that we just set um, and this this change CX, CY, CZ that would be uh, just the same as in here if we change one of these change variables so that's what those equate to um, in the Python program and then if we go to move XYZ down here just go past the forward kinematics uh, where is it move XYZ you, you bring in those values it's gonna run the calc reverse kinematic program with those values it's gonna <clears throat> the calc reverse kinematic program is gonna return the joint values and then this routine will take those joint values J, J1 out, J2 out, J3 out, etc and will run move new and then pass those in uh, with move new and then when we go down to the bottom here and find move new it's basically going to take those J1 through 6 values um, figure out what the current steps are, what the next step needs to be do all those calculations and then once it figures them all out it's going to send a, a, a serial command and it'll write this entire command string out to the Arduino, it'll perform the move when it's done it'll save the position data, go back to uh, the move XYZ where it came from and it'll recalculate the forward kinematics so the XYZ uh, values on the screen are correct but anyway that was mostly what I wanted to point out here was that um, was that all the Excel spreadsheet cells match exactly in the program so that's all I got thanks